no one will ever underestimate me again and challenge my battle cat's prowess. And I'll prove it to you in this video alone. A new advent stage called Flow Like the Stream Merciless Mode. AKA Bottom of the Swamp. Only an hour left to learn how to do it? Never fear. Apparently, rumors incline that there is a way. A cheesing strat. How could I not do a cheesing strat on my channel? What's more is the strat involves a unit that we just got. A unit that you need to get right now. It's in the event, it's in the club event. If you don't have this unit, this cheesing strat might be extremely hard, if not impossible. Now, I have yet to even try out the cheesing strat. Uh, I have no idea how to do it. However, I did ask Bark Sensei. Bark Sensei has hopefully gave me the tools to accomplish this in this video. You probably already know if I was successful or not uh, because of the length of the video. If this video is four minutes long, then rejoice. Your boy Chorzy has done it. He's cheesed it. If this video is 28 minutes long, despair, only despair waits for me. I don't know yet. I don't know my own fate yet, but you do. All right, so here we go. The level spawns in a scissoroo, alien kangaroo, and a few thrillers, zombie, the little three people. You hit the scissoroo with, I believe, manic macho legs. Once then, when the MML dies, which, yeah, the manic macho legs is MML. All right, cool, we're learning. You wait for it to come to the base. You wait for the scissoroo to come to the base, right? Then you spawn a waking Bahama cat to get two shots off. The scissoroo will be around three HP or three K HP. Use some bony to finish it off. Yo, can some bony do that? Then the thrillers should be spawning. Let it come to the base where Zamboni is and spawn healer. Now healer is gonna be a magical unit that's gonna help us absolutely cheese this entire stage here. The idea of healer is he can potentially freeze anything. He has an AOE effect, he attacks re relatively okay on average, and every single time he does attack, it's a 100% chance to freeze. So with freeze combos, it should be incredible. Let the thrillers come till no more spawn for a while. When that happens, spawn Awaken Bahama Cat again, and you win. The thrillers will turn into corpse thing where they respawn. But during this time, do not spawn anything else. All right, okay. The whole premise of this cheese is there is an enemy limit. By the way, again, thanks to Bark for like helping me out with this entire, I, I didn't do any of this. this is, none of this is from my own brain. None of it at all. But the idea is the enemy has a limit of how many enemies there can be, right? Kind of like when we have like a restriction for our own cats. So they have like a limit of, let's say, I don't know. I actually don't know, but let's say 10 or 15, right? That means the boss can't spawn unless there is room or less than that limit. Apparently, when zombies die and they get resurrected, in that phase when they're dead and you can't see them, they're still affecting the whole enemy limit, which means we can bypass that. Now, it's very important to know that and understand that we're moving forwards, okay? This might be our first educational video that will go horrifically wrong. Not the first video to go horrifically wrong, that's happened many times, but the first educational one, which is the first time I've ever done that before. Full stop. So, important cats we need. Apparently, very simple. Yo, if this goes correctly. Hype. So much hype. <laughs> so much hype. We have Manic's legs at 33. Now, the problem here is he wasn't very clear about what levels I need. MML, Manic Macho Legs, needs to be maxed out, you know? Maybe that's a thing. Maybe Zamboni needs to be maxed out. I don't know this yet. I could be wrong. If that is the case, I will almost certainly fail. <laughs> so, here we go. Oh, before we start, we need a freezing combo. Let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, it will be an effect, right? Let's use this pumpkin pants. There you go. Now it's only a matter of learning and remembering what I have said. All right, simple. <laughs> Let the battle begin! Merciless mode! Alright, this is gonna be very exciting. I've never done a cheese before. I actually, this is the first time. Ironically, yes. I have never done a cheese before. So, the people here. Doesn't matter. We want to send out one manic macho leg. Alright, he was pretty goddamn slow. 
He died instantly. Help. All right. <laughs> what? Okay, well, perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps he needs to be level 40, you big stupid dumb dumb heads, you big idiot, stupid moron, you absolute dummy, thick in the brain, doo doo. Maybe 39 is good enough because I don't really want to like spend any more experience points than I have to. Flow like the stream, merciless mode. So also, I was thinking, okay, do I spawn him straight? I think I spawn him straight away, all right? Like that. Okay, you get the people, you kill the people. Like, he dies in one hit? That's not supposed to happen. That's not supposed to happen, though. And then we die. I think our base isn't strong enough. Maybe we need to have Rich Cat, right? I'm gonna try one more time without Rich Cat. This time around, I've used my Iron Defense base, which will hopefully mean I can survive a lot longer. I'm gonna do Worker Cat number one. He didn't say do Rich Cat. But maybe he forgot to say that. I don't know. Have I watched anyone else do this cheesing strat? No, not yet. Should I? <laughs> Should I have? <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, he's doing the same amount of damage. This iron defense base kind of sucks ass. I, I did preempt summon him. Yeah, we're dying so quickly. All right, so new, new strat, new strat. New plan. We use a rich cat here. Let the battle begin. Now with a rich cat, should be so easy. We've won this, right? Here we go. One hit, cool. Yeah, with Rich Cat, we just about, yeah, we're able to do this, I think. Never mind, Bahama Cat dies. All right, hold on, let me, let me think here. Let me, let me just. Don't worry, Chorzy will understand this soon enough. Look, I am making mistakes, so you don't have to, okay? All right, let's, let's about to begin. All right, so. We summon you. The beginning part, we're almost nailing, okay? We've almost nailed the beginning part. We're gonna be so good at it. So what I think I have to do is make sure Bahamut Cat is behind the base, right? So wait for the kangaroo to hit my base first and then summon Bahamut Cat. So he doesn't get hit. Like so, right? Spawn Awaken Bahama Cat to get two shots off. In what world? So clearly, it hasn't worked. What we are gonna do is improvise. So what if instead of Bahama Cat, which apparently doesn't work. Yo, I think I know why it doesn't work, right? So hear me out, I don't have all the treasures right now. I think I'm missing some treasures, hold on. It could be very much, it could very well be that I don't have the treasures to actually do this, and maybe that's why it's not working. That's fine, okay. Well, I'm gonna do a very unique guide here for people to cheese the stage without all the treasures, okay? One of a kind, unique guide here. Coming up. Or, hold on. What if we do like another combo here, right? We have so much room in our roster. Let's go for like a defense up combo. Now for Lucky, if we do this, we can't do the freeze combo, which we desperately need. So we can only do like a small defense up combo. Let's do the Moby Dick one, because there's two things that will help us out here. Oh, what have I done? I feel like there's one important thing I'm definitely missing here. Like one very integral bit of information I have not learned. Just to clarify here, by the way, I very much think this is a me problem. I would never say it's a Bart problem. 100% <laughs> me problem. Something I'm doing wrong here. I really hope I can do this in this video. All right, now we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, I think we have everything we need. Defense up, freeze, also cat base defense up as well. So we can also like take a hit as well. A lot more of a hit from the kangaroo. It's perfect. It's actually perfect. So now I'm hoping we can survive at least two hits from the kangaroo. There's one hit. No, we die instantly. Zamboni to finish it off. Zamboni dies. Okay. This is where we go a little bit off board here, a little bit insane. We say goodbye to Bahama Cat. Hello to Yukimura. Maybe. You know, Yukimura will have the strength to uh, to overcome this. I don't want to use any more rich cats. I've already spent way too many. All right, let the bar begin. Yukimura is a lot cheaper here, right? So therefore, 
a much better chance to actually succeed here. I feel pretty confident about this one. I feel like we could definitely do this. It's a cheesing strat. How can I not do this one, okay? All right, that's fine. Honestly, send him one of these temporarily just to buy some time there. That's fine. This is fine. This is fine. He'll survive. Look at that. Some bony in there. Does not kill. We're about another legs cat. Well, hot damn, this thing doesn't die. But like, okay, so you want to make sure Zamboni is the last thing alive. If we over, if we do too much at the the kangaroo here, it's game over because we kill the people too much. I think that's how it works. I think it's in tech. You know, what we'll do is we'll level up Zamboni. When I first started playing this game, I was like, oh, <laughs> funny looking cats. Great game. Who can love funny looking cats? Now I'm like, yo, my brain. Help it! <laughs> Help my brain, it's sick! Get him up there. It's not a waste, because we're definitely gonna be using him multiple times, okay? Alright. <laughs> flow like the stream! Just flow! Let it flow right through you! Let all the big brain smart stuff flow right through you. So yes, we have to improvise here. We have to do a few things that's off the book here. Alright? We will summon island cats as a way to, like, buy some time for us. It didn't buy as much time. We can, we can, it's, it's okay, it's okay. Because we can still do this. That's a bad attack there, that's okay. Zamboni. Zamboni died. I haven't given up yet. I have not given up yet. I think I have an idea. What if? Flow like the stream! Merciless. What if we have Maglev here, right? Okay, hear me out here. Maglev will kill the people. Go, kill people. Give us loads of money. Maybe hit him. Fails. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna summon a, a Lex Cat to go with him so we can hit him a few more times here. Okay, that's fine. All right, he survives a hit. He doesn't survive the second hit. We play this guy. Hits once, hits twice, Zambonium. Zamboni does not kill. He's immortal! This kangaroo's immortal! Oh, finally! Oh my god! This thing is gonna kill us though. I hate my life. I hate my life. And there's the boss. So the idea is you don't hit you don't hit the, the base is the thing. If you hit the base, this guy comes out. Apparently he's pretty tough or something like that, you know? Apparently he's a, he's a tough boy. With he has surge attacks. Oh that's so cool. <laughs> oh. So again, I want to clarify here, we want the last hit to be done by Zamboni here. If it's not done by Zamboni, we will go ahead and hit the base. Zamboni, as far as I know, does not hit or the length between his attacks is short. The point where like, it doesn't even matter, okay? The whole point is we don't hit the base. Zamboni is great for that. And then what you do is you wait for the people, the small little critters to like multiply to a certain amount and then you can hit the base because at that point they hit the enemy limits and then you can get the unit and you can be like really happy because you made a really good video on YouTube for once. Unfortunately, this has not happened. Flow like the f***ing stream. It's not Bark's fault, but low-key kind of mad at Bark right now. <laughs> not for like ill advice, but for telling me this exists in the first place. JK, love you, Bark. All right, there you go. That sucked, but that's okay because we summon Seafarer Cat. All right, all we gotta do is just do a tiny bit more damage. See, look at this, we're doing fine. Now admittedly, we want him to kill Seafarer Cat. We want Seafarer Cat to die here. Seafarer Cat is not dying here. He's heading towards the base. Seafarer Cat, don't you dare, don't you dare. Seafarer Cat, please. No! <laughs> Seafarer Cat! Don't do it! Don't you... Oh, we, we got killed anyways, apparently. 
Even though Zamboni was right there being out guard. Okay. All right. Don't you see Farah then? Okay. Or you see Farah. That's it, Chosie. Let the madness seep inside of you. Let the craziness seep inside of your brain! <clears throat> we use only Seafarer Cat, right? Seafarer Cat can't survive this. Now, we gotta calculate at some point how much damage this boy is doing. Because, again, we want Zamboni to be the only one in the field and to also have the last attack. Alright, go. All right, we're gonna go ahead and skip this one. Go ahead and press the uh, the play button again. So this time around, I'm gonna summon Seafarer Cat and Manic Macho Lex Cat together as one. Going into this one pretty goddamn confidence. With the attack bonus, we should be doing just enough to maybe hit the threshold where we can kill with Zamboni and only Zamboni on the fields. So here we go. Again, that's the challenge here. I'm gonna let him hit my base. Time it properly. Beautiful. Zamboni does not kill. All right, I want to know how far away I am from killing that kangaroo. I don't understand. I don't understand. All right, one very important thing I have to remember um, is meat shielding, <laughs> which makes sense, right? My my people are dying straight away. We can't use them. Yo, with meat shielding, perhaps this is possible. Let about begin. Of course, I should be using Rich Cat here as well, but because I'm using Yukimura, I don't think I need to use Rich Cat necessarily. Maybe I do, but what I want to do is actually just summon these and some great intervals here like this. And I want to summon my Legs Cat, and I want to make sure the Manix are getting killed one by one by the Roo, okay? By Scissoroo, which I think is his name. So hopefully, if I do this correctly here, Unfortunately, I have not done this correctly at all. Okay, it's, it's fine. It's, it's whatever, man. It's fine. There you go. Summon this. One more, maybe. All right, cool. Again, you got to be, like, really good with your meat shielding here to have a good chance. I'm not that good. Let's do, like, a, what, what these lasers here. Zamboni doesn't hit the right target. Okay. All right. I think... I think it's okay. Admittedly, I really should have seen a video on this beforehand. I should have watched a video on this beforehand to see how other people do it. That would have been extremely clever on my behalf. I did not. That was something I did not do. And thus, I was not clever. All right, this Misha was a bit too late. Yeah, there you go. I did do it way too late there. We use a normal Lex Cat here instead. And we just spam out the Misha when we can. And that should be just enough to protect him for a good while. And then he'll die very soon. Okay, cool. Now I want to summon my kangaroo here, not kangaroo, I want to summon Yukimura here in hopes that he does kill, doesn't kill. Zamboni will kill, doesn't kill. All right, that's fine. Lasers didn't kill. Okay, that's, that's okay, that's fine. All right, Balrog, you just kill. Balrog, kill. Okay. Okay. The problem is we're not killing the kangaroo. People would argue, hey, use Bahama Cat instead of Yukimura. Trust me, Yukimura, with the whole like, stat boost he's getting from being damaged, is doing a lot more damage than Bahama Cat. I think. Maybe. Actually, now I don't know. You know what? Hold on. Let me just do, let me just do it the other way. Let me just... Okay, look. Look, I'm gonna try it with Bahama Cat here. Alright, Rich Cat. There you go. Alright? Shows you're going crazy again! You're going crazy! You're doing that voice where you go crazy! These these uh meat shieldings really bad. Bad meat shieldings. Awful meat shieldings. You don't want to take too long, because otherwise the zombie people will catch up to the base and you want to make sure they hit the Scizoru with the zombie people and not What am I saying? You wanna hit Scizoru with the Got my brain! <laughs> okay, let me go to the base. No no, no more meat shielding, let me get to the base first. Okay. We can hit him. We summon a meat shield. Another meat shielding. You get two hits off there. Meat shielding. All right, okay. All right, cool. Stop. Escape. Stop. You hit him twice. 
and then you let him die. I think we're doing this though. I think we're making this. I think the meat shielding has made all the difference here. All right. Yo, that was way too early. Okay, so use the meat shieldings to protect Lex Cat. So it can do as much damage as possible here. I think he's about to die. All right, cool. No more meat shielding. That's it. Done, 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 done. Okay. Wait for him to get close to the base. And you want to summon a Bahamut Cat with a meat shield. So go. Meat shielding. Now the, the whole purpose. All right, no more meat shooting. Ah! Stop. Okay. Now, <laughs> I'm running out of rich cats here. The mistake I made here was obvious. Yo, oh, that's an anonymous amount of energy I have left. The problem is simple. You use one meat shield. You attack twice as Bahamut Cat. You don't be a big old stupid head. If you just use your brain, Chorzy. It's a, sim it's a simple cheese strat. All right, I think this is where, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay, cool. No, no, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's good practice. All right, cool. Head towards the base, please, good sir. We summon Bahama Cat with one meat shield. One meat shield. That should be enough. All right, cool. Kill off my Bahama Cat, please. Zamboni kill. See, I did everything perfect there. I did everything perfect there, okay? A few more tries here, cause it's it's gone past the hour mark, and I'm pretty sure this event is actually about to stop. Um, as in I can't do anymore. As in like it won't let me do anymore. Not like I've given up mentally, but the game has given up on me. It's about to shut for a month, so I'm gonna have to wait for next month to do this again. Of which I'm gonna do this properly next month. Next month I'm gonna actually next time I do this stage, I'm not gonna cheese it. Sorry. It's not in the cards. We got like one hit off there. That was that was terrible, I think. All right, so the plan here was use Yukimura instead again um, and just keep protecting him. Do one more attack with Yukimura and I think then we're set. Okay, it doesn't hit. It's exactly what I want. Zambo Zamboni hit the zombies. I really want Zamboni to not hit the zombies. We've sent out Barog in anger, in pure anger. Barog has been. <gasps> okay. Shh. This is perfect. This is perfect. We just need to. Hold on. Stop this. Freeze. Ah, it was almost perfect. God damn it. Okay. All right. Hey, maybe we can do this a different way. Flow light the stream. Flow light the stream. Some new. Cool. Gets hit once. That sucks. That's okay. And then you're gonna it hit the fucking zombie people instead. I hate my life so much right now. This is the worst thing I've ever done my whole entire life. Every single this <laughs> video has trumped this one to an extra. Oh my goodness! We don't want legs cat here. That's too bad. Will this work? I ex well definitely not now. <laughs> <laughs> Not only that, but Zamboni actually. Okay, so the idea. Okay, hold on. I've never ever used so much energy in one video before in my entire life, and that's a fact. We have broken a record here, and you know what? That in itself is an achievement. Therefore, this was a successful video, everyone. Well done. This was clearly a successful video. Please agree with me that I haven't wasted my life today. I need this. Protect him at all costs. Okay. This is good. This is good. Okay. That's good. I think that was good. So we got quite a few hits off here. Now we summon Yukimura. We summon Manic Cats here. Oh my god, the zombies got in the way again. I think that's okay. Yo, there's one more hit. Okay, now you get to kill Yukimura. Okay. Do one of these. Some of Barrow Cat. Whoops, did not mean to do that. Alright, that's not good. This is what you're supposed to do here. Is you have this guy here with a freezing combo, which means he can like almost perma-freeze this. 
and then you know that way we collect as many as possible to get the enemy limits and then uh, uh, 70 minutes left I've only spent one hour doing this ah! question is do you reckon this stage is harder to do legit or harder to do it as a cheese strat you know what I mean <laughs> I'll tell you this for certain I am the only person to have released a failed cheating strat video on this stage, and I might be the only person that will ever do that. I don't know, maybe you guys can learn from my own mistakes, and uh, that way, this video has been somewhat useful for someone. Hey, maybe you like seeing my suffering, you know? It's like, like a large subset of people that do like my suffering, so you know what? Maybe it's, it's helped someone out there. Wow, that was incredibly bad. You are incredibly bad, me. All right, we're gonna do one more try here. I'm gonna put every single ounce of energy into this last run here, okay? Oh, let's go. Okay. Boom. Spam out Manic Cats. There you go. Protect Manic Legs Cat for as long as possible. We wanna do as much damage to the kangaroo. Again, to verify, Zamboni wants the last flipping attack. He wants to be the one that destroys him. All right, we can't do any more. That's fine, okay. Good. We don't want to waste any time here. We don't want the people to get in the way. We summon Yukimura. Yukimura is way too fast for the Manic Cats to protect him the first time round. Perhaps second time round it'll work. No, he attacks the wrong person. That's fine. Because we summon freaking Balrog Cat here. He gets hit once. Doesn't care. Hits twice. He doesn't care, dude. He doesn't care. Get wrecked. Get destroyed. Um, also, these people are still hitting- they were still hitting my base. Screw this. Even if we get past, like, part one of doing this- this, uh, this cheese here. Stage two- also- I don't get it, man! I don't get it! I watched someone do this, by the way. I watched them do it! It doesn't make any sense! I've never really watched much of a guide before. I don't like watching guides, and this is exactly why I hate watching guides. I hope you enjoyed a very merry, salty chorsy today. I hope you enjoyed this absolutely miserable video that I have made. I hope you enjoy my absolute despair. I hope you enjoyed watching my energy go down and down. I hope you enjoyed this absolute trash video that will never help out a single soul out there. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to leave a like. As a courtesy to people that have come here for some kind of help or tips or guide. Um, yo, in the comments down below, please help them out. And I will also link someone who does the strap legitly and can actually show you properly how to do it. But, as for me, this has been a complete failure. I feel like shit. <laughs> I wanna, before I end the video here, I wanna say uh, still a big thank you to Bark. Um, this is not at all his fault. It's entirely my fault for my own incompetence. Just to clarify this, I wanna make sure that I'm not blaming him. It's totally on me, just to clarify here. And honestly, end video. End the video.